sweet potato leaves, the superfood you can grow at home. Sweet potato leaves are superfood in themselves. Sure, we dig up sweet potatoes in the fall, but the sweet potato leaves provide us with an abundant food source in the food forest all year round here in Florida. So why aren't sweet potato leaves found in the grocery store? Because they don't store well. The minute you harvest sweet potato leaves, they will start wilting. But I have a solution for that. So keep watching and I'll let you know my secret. There are many uses for sweet potato leaves. We use them in stir fries, salads, stews, curries, soups, green juices, pizza toppings, and ingredients in sauces such as tomato sauce. We do not use any form of pesticides or synthetic fertilizers. And while we do see a little insect damage, it's nothing that bothers us. We prefer eating food free of pesticides, preservatives, and chemicals. And we try to grow enough for us and wildlife. We love sweet potato leaves. Sweet potatoes can grow year-round in Florida and in areas where you don't have enough growing season to grow actual sweet potatoes, you can still grow sweet potato leaves. We grow sweet potatoes as a ground cover where we don't want weeds and as you can tell they're doing a great job, almost too good, but you can actually grow sweet potatoes in containers and we do this around the house at the bottom of our mulberry trees and pots. You really don't need a lot of space if you just want the leaves. Sweet potatoes are a low maintenance vegetable and a low maintenance green and once you have them established you don't really have to do much about them. We do not water this area. Sure when it gets cold we'll lose a lot but there'll always be something left in the ground here in northeast Florida and they will pop up. This entire section of sweet potatoes was started from a couple of sweet potatoes bought at the store. Just make sure you start with organic sweet potatoes. If you take a look at dancingtreetops.com, we have a guide for how to grow sweet potatoes from the grocery store bought sweet potato and we have a lot more information. Sweet potato leaves are a great source of vitamin A but also contains vitamin K, C, B1, B2, B3 and B9. They are also a source of zinc, manganese, and copper. They are low in saturated fat and cholesterol. They contain omega-3 fatty acids. Now, as promised, I'm going to show you how to make sweet potato leaves last for days in the kitchen. A glass jar full of water. All you need to do is take the wine. I like to just pull the vine. We have an abundance, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, see all these areas? These are new sweet potato vines. You can start. We just put them at the bottom of banana trees and wherever else we don't want weeds. If I see a leaf that has damage, that will go to the chickens. I'm always looking for good leaves with no damage. Let's see. I look for something without any marks on it, without any bug bites, and I just stick in the water. I like to find a new shoot, such as this one that have nice leaves and you could leave the vine or you can just cut it like that. I usually bring two jars of water with me. One for sweet potato leaves and one for any cuttings that I want to use. This one's a nice one. Brand new leaf. But if I don't put in water, it'll start welding. You can pull off the leaves so you can use scissors. So 
this one has some damage on it. So I've got your chickens. So, when I bring all these leaves home, I just put them on the counter. I can use them for dinner, and I can use them for a day or two more. They, they last really well. Once you put them in water, you don't even have to put them in the fridge. A lot of the leaves end up being damaged, but that's because we are in the food forest. One, you can see the roots coming down here. And I'm not particular with them. That's because I have an abundance. If you don't have a whole food forest as we do, then you can be more picky. What you choose. Let's see. Some fresh new leaves. And any of these sections could actually be regrown in your food forest area or other areas of your garden. I'll just go through them, get the nice leaves first that I want to bring home to cook with. And then, the rest of these leaves just go on a pile to bring home to the chickens. But if I want to have more, it is as simple as cutting a section. Good morning. Good morning. So if you want to start more vines, you just cut the vines a little bit. You see they still have a little bit of roots on them. You just put them in water and within a day or two, they will be ready to be planted with lots of roots. So, sweet potatoes, in my opinion, are definitely a superfood that should be grown in any garden by anyone who wants to grow their own food. Cheap, one organic sweet potatoes can make an abundance of sweet potato slips. In fact, I don't even know if we use more than one sweet potato here, but you could, in reality, grow a big field like we have right here, big section from one sweet potato. So. There you go. We have sweet potatoes for cooking. Go home. And we have some sweet potato vines ready to grow. I'll be passed around. Give it. Here we've got some sweet potatoes growing in our garden beds to keep our weeds. These sweet potatoes are growing in a large container right next to our front door for the sole purpose of giving us sweet potato leaves close to the kitchen. We have a mulberry tree growing in there. Got to call it greens and we use it to propagate different things and we have this small sweet potato bed the sweet potato leaves are climbing over the chicken coop and sometimes we just let the chickens come have a feast if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and visit us at dancingtreetops.com